The vector autoregression is an econometric model used to capture the linear interdependencies among multiple time series. VAR models generalize the univariate autoregressive model by allowing for more than one evolving variable. All variables in a VAR are treated symmetrically in a structural sense. Each variable has an equation explaining its evolution based on its own lags, and the lags of the other model variables. VAR modeling does not require as much knowledge about the forces influencing a variable as do structural models with simultaneous equations. The only prior knowledge required is a list of variables which can be hypothesized to affect each other intertemporally. Specification Definition A VAR model describes the evolution of a set of k variables over the same sample period as a linear function of only their past values. The variables are collected in a k times 1 vector y t, which has as the i t h element y t, the observation at time t of the i t h variable. For example, if the i t h variable is GDP, then y t is the value of GDP at time t. A p t h order VAR, denoted VAR, is where the L periods back observation y t minus L is called the L t h lag of y. C is a k times one vector of constants. I is a time invariant k times k matrix and A is a k times one vector of error terms satisfying every error term has mean zero. The contemporaneous covariance matrix of error terms is omega. For any non-zero k, there is no correlation across time, in particular, no serial correlation in individual error terms. A pth order VAR is also called a VAR with p lags. The process of choosing the maximum lag p in the VAR model requires special attention because inference is dependent on correctness of the selected lag order. Order of integration of the variables Note that all variables have to be of the same order of integration. The following cases are distinct. All the variables are i. 1 is in the standard case, i.e., a VAR in level. All the variables are i with d greater than 0. The variables are co-integrated. The error correction term has to be included in the VAR. The model becomes a vector error correction model which can be seen as a restricted VAR. The variables are not co-integrated. The variables have first to be difference d times and one has a VAR in difference. Concise matrix notation 1 can stack the vectors in order to write a VAR with a concise matrix notation. Details of the matrices are in a separate page. Example for a general example of a VAR with k variables, see general matrix notation of a VAR. A VAR in two variables can be written in matrix form as or equivalently. As the following system of two equations each variable in the model has one equation. The current observation of each variable depends on its own lagged values as well as on the lagged values of each other variable in the VAR. Writing VAR as VAR a VAR with p lags can always be equivalently rewritten as a VAR with only one lag by appropriately redefining the dependent variable. The transformation amounts to stacking the lags of the VAR variable in the new VAR dependent variable and appending identities to complete the number of equations. For example, the VAR model can be recast as the VAR model where I is the identity matrix. The equivalent VAR form is more convenient for analytical derivations and allows more compact statements. Structural versus reduced form. Structural VAR A structural VAR with p lags is where C0 is a k times 1 vector of constants. Phi is a k times k matrix and epsilon t is a k times 1 vector of error terms. The main diagonal terms of the BO matrix are scaled to 1. The error terms epsilon t satisfy the conditions in the definition above, with the particularity that all the elements off the main diagonal of the covariance matrix are zero, that is, the structural shocks are uncorrelated. For example, a two-variable structural VAI is 
where that is, the variances of the structural shocks have denoted and the covariances. Writing the first equation explicitly and passing y2, t to the right-hand side one obtains note that y2, t can have a contemporaneous effect on y1, t if, bo, 1, 2 is not 0. This is different from the case when BO is the identity matrix, when Y2, T can impact directly Y1, T plus 1 and subsequent future values, but not Y1, T. Because of the parameter identification problem, ordinary least squares estimation of the structural VAR would yield inconsistent parameter estimates. This problem can be overcome by rewriting the VAR in reduced form. From an economic point of view, if the joint dynamics of a set of variables can be represented by a VAR model, then the structural form is a depiction of the underlying structural economic relationships. Two features of the structural form make it the preferred candidate to represent the underlying relations. 1. Error terms are not correlated. The structural economic shocks which drive the dynamics of the economic variables are assumed to be independent, which implies zero correlation between error terms as a desired property. This is helpful for separating out the effects of economically unrelated influences in the VAR. For instance, there is no reason why an oil price shock should be related to a shift in consumers' preferences towards a style of clothing. Therefore one would expect these factors to be statistically independent. 2. Variables can have a contemporaneous impact on other variables. This is a desirable feature especially when using low-frequency data. For example, an indirect tax rate increase would not affect tax revenues the day the decision is announced, but one could find an effect in that quarter's data. Reduced form VAR by pre-multiplying the structural VAR with the inverse of BO in denoting 1 obtains the PTH order reduced VAR. Note that in the reduced form all right-hand side variables are predetermined at time t, as there are no time t endogenous variables on the right-hand side, no variable has a direct contemporaneous effect on other variables in the model. However, the error terms in the reduced VAR are composites of the structural shocks A equals BO minus 1 epsilon T. Thus, the occurrence of one structural shock epsilon I T can potentially lead to the occurrence of shocks in all error terms E J T, thus creating contemporaneous movement in all endogenous variables. Consequently, the covariance matrix of the reduced VAR can have non-zero off-diagonal elements thus allowing non-zero correlation between error terms. Estimation Estimation of the regression parameters starting from the concise matrix notation. The multivariate least squares for B yields. It can be written alternatively as where denotes the Kronecker products and V see the vectorization of the matrix Y. This estimator is consistent and asymptotically efficient. It is furthermore equal to the conditional maximum likelihood estimator, as the explanatory variables are the same in each equation. The multivariate least squares estimator is equivalent to the ordinary least squares estimator applied to each equation separately. Estimation of the covariance matrix of the errors as in the standard case. The maximum likelihood estimator of the covariance matrix differs from the ordinary least squares estimator, MLE estimator, OLS estimator, for a model with a constant, K variables and P lags. In a matrix notation, this gives Estimation of the estimator's covariance matrix The covariance matrix of the parameters can be estimated as interpretation of estimated model. Properties of the VAR model are usually summarized using structural analysis using Granger causality, impulse responses, and forecast error variance decompositions. Forecasting using an estimated VAR model. An estimated VAR model can be used for forecasting, and the quality of the forecasts can be judged in ways that are completely analogous to the methods used in univariate autoregressive modeling. Applications 
Christopher Sims advocated VAR models, criticizing the claims and performance of earlier modeling in macroeconomic econometrics. He recommended VAR models, which had previously appeared in time series statistics and in system identification, a statistical specialty in control theory. Sims advocated VAR models as providing a theory-free method to estimate economic relationships, thus being an alternative to the incredible identification restrictions in structural models. Software. Ah, there is a package called VARS which deals with VAR models. Shash. VARMAX. Stata. VAR. Eviews. VAR. Gretel. VAR. Regression analysis of time series. Statistical software components.